Hi, I'm Jamie Schwartz Cohen, and I help food and wellness brands tell their science based stories to audiences consumers trust for recommendations. I've been a dietitian for over 20 years, and I've been at Catch on PR for over 17 years. Uh, I now lead a team of seven dietitians who wear both hats as nutrition experts and communication consultants. I love that my role allows me to tap into different parts of my brain uh, and find creative ways into storytelling with a focus on what my team calls nutrition edutainment, a mashup of the words education and entertainment um, in order to help brands build reputation and product awareness, sometimes shift perceptions, and debunk myths. So my calling to be in the profession began with chocolate. I was pre-med my first semester in college, but I was overwhelmed by all the coursework. I randomly enrolled in a one-credit nutrition class, and the professor walked in on the first day and talked about carbs and protein and fat and how she enjoys chocolate every day. And I thought, finally, science that is tangible. It was the information plus the storytelling in a way that really spoke to me that sold me. So I was matched with Roberta Dyfe through the DBC mentoring program in 2001 uh, when I was still a dietetic intern. So she's really been part of my career journey for more than 20 years. And what I've learned is that the mentor and mentee hats are forever changing. I think it's so important to embrace the generational diversity among our profession. I and mean, I'm really so excited to be mentored by Gen ZRDs. My team actually just did some research into how Gen ZRDs are different from other generations of nutrition professionals. And there's really a lot we can learn and get inspired by and excited for for the future of the profession. So I regularly find myself in client meetings that also include people that are from marketing and advertising agencies. And more often than not, they have no nutrition background, but have more time on the agenda, bigger budgets for their assignments, and seem to have more of the client's attention. Earlier in my career, I may not have corrected them if they said something wrong, or I may not have voiced my opinion. But then I realized that I can talk their talk, but they can't always talk mine. I'm sometimes the only RD in the room, and I'm there because of my expertise. The imposter syndrome definitely sets in sometime, and I'm intimidated, but I get over it. Beyonce has her Sasha Fierce alter ego to get her through live performances, and I have my alter ego, the pint-sized powerhouse, which was coined by a former colleague and mentor as I'm under five feet tall. Yeah, I'll just add that managing my imposter syndrome allows me to own my expertise in any situation, whether pushing back on a colleague or presenting on a panel. Really having the support of others, my dietitian colleagues. In May, I presented to other dietitians about what I call using our nutrition side advantage, another word I made up, a mashup of science and advantage. And I shared how dietitians can apply PR best practices to nutrition education and myth buzzing. It was really the first time I presented as me and what I've learned throughout my career. And having a table full of dietitian friends at the front smiling and nodding their heads during the presentation really helped me overcome imposter syndrome and calm my nerves. I really, I recently saw something on Instagram about how we should be more grateful to the head nodders. So head nodders are really my magic elixir.